What's up, y'all? Today, we're gonna be putting brakes on T. Okay, so when doing a brake job on Hondas like this, it's so simple. Like all you do is take the two bolts out the back, pull the caliper off, and switch out the pads, slap it back down, easy. First thing you're gonna wanna do is this one down here. Most times when you take this one out at the bottom, you can swing this whole thing up. This whole part right here will swing up, and you can, you can take out your pads and then you know, switch them out. So let's see how that goes. It's gonna be a little pain. So this is what I do. I make make me a nice little cheetah bar here. It'll slip over this and give you a little bit of extra leverage. Then you just just like this. Once you get that broke loose, just loosen that out. Now, once you slacken taking this bottom one out, you can pull the whole assembly up over top like that. And once you've done that, sometimes you want to put something here to hold it because you don't want it to fly back. And once you got that out of the way, the rest is pretty straightforward. Get your brakes, let's swap these out. So you just pull one off. Look at that. Do you see how thin it is? Can y'all see that? Damn. Okay, so I just realized I didn't finish this video on the break, but yeah, that's about it. You put everything back like we took it off and hopefully you'll be able to stop. The the thing you saw with the C-clamp, all that is is it just pushes the cylinder back in so that with the new pads being thicker, you'll be able to put the um you'll be able to put the caliper back down on top of it. That's all it is, and you don't have to bleed it or nothing because when you push it back in, it just, it keeps all the air, it just pushes the fluid back. So, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed that videos. Like, share, subscribe, and keep it easy.